In this example, we are subtracting mixed fractions from each other. Both of these fractions must be converted into top-heavy fractions before anything else can be done. This can be done by multiplying the whole number by the denominator, which gives you 8, and then adding the numerator, which gives you 9. So this number goes at the top of your fraction. The number at the bottom of the fraction remains the same. So 4 and a half is the same as 9 over 2. We can do the same thing to the second fraction here. 1 times 5 is 5, plus 3 is 8. So we're subtracting 8 over 5. Now we have a fraction and a fraction here, which are both top heavy. So we can continue with this sum. Our second step is to consider what the lowest common multiple of 2 and 5 is. In this case, that number is 10. So we write down the denominators for both our fractions as tenths. And now we need to work out what the numerators of both numbers will be. To get from 2 to 10, you must multiply by 5. So you've got to multiply the top here by 5 as well. 9 times 5 is 45. Here you must multiply by 2 to get to 10. So once again, the top here must multiply by 2, and you get 16. A very important factor to remember here is that denominators do not change. So immediately write down a tenth at the bottom. And now we need to work out the top. 45 take away 16. You need 4 more to get to 20, and then from 20 to 45 is 25. So altogether, that's 29 over 10. This is an acceptable answer, but it is always better to write it in its simplest form, to convert this top heavy fraction back into a mixed fraction. How many tens are there in 29? There are two. So that tells you the whole number that's at the start of your fraction. And what's left over is nine. So we write that as 9 over 10. And this is your final answer.